Hello everyone, I'm Renown Zero, and today we're going to be talking about Hollywood celebrities melting down essentially because Donald Trump is ready for president, because as always they have TDS, especially the big ones like Mark Hamill and Elijah Wood, because you know, they're so out of the loop over what, the, what a regular person goes through because they have such privilege to not have to worry about groceries, not have to worry about gas, not have to worry about inflation, not have to worry about any of these things, because they have so much privilege of being able to entertain people and we the plebs pay for such said entertainment but because they're not suffering like the rest of us are it's somehow a bad thing to put back the guy that made the economy better they made the economy the greatest in recorded history to the point where they could have comfort in making as much money as they have from us the regular people paying to watch their entertainment but before we get started, I'm going to go into this, uh, you know, before we get started, be sure to hit the like button if you do like the video, comment below what you think about all this, subscribe for more content, and we're going to jump right in this article from Bowling Into Comics that says, Hollywood celebrities, including Elijah Wood and Mark Hamill, melt down over Donald Trump's 2024 presidential run. Mark Hamill ha is known for his massive, massive TDS and being a, just an all-around trash human being. Not, like going as far as talking down to Trump's kid or, or I think his his son's kids because he was dressed as a stormtrooper for Halloween one time. <sighs> Unreal. Lord of the Rings star Elijah Wood and Star Wars actor Mark Hamill were among some of the many woke Hollywood celebrities who once again found themselves screaming that the sky is falling in response to Donald Trump's announcement of his 2024 presidential campaign. During a 69-minute speech on Tuesday night, the former president announced his 2024 presidential campaign at his resort in Mar-a-Lago. You know, the one they raided and found absolutely nothing and then ended up being that the documents they found were really no use to anybody. Unveiling his plans for what he referred to as the National Greatness Agenda. It's only called the National Greatness Agenda because our country can be greater than it's ever been, said Trump as transcribed by Breitbart. Quote, our country is not great anymore, declared the former president. It's a mess, but our country can be greater than it ever was before. There will be more, much more in the months ahead, and there are so many things we need to do. Continue, the road ahead of us will not be easy, and will keep America out of foolish and unnecessary foreign wars, just as I did for four years before, which he did. We got, we were in no new foreign wars and had four Middle Eastern peace deals, but nobody seems to care about the good things this man does. All they focus on is made-up garbage by the mainstream media. We will again have peace through strength, said Trump, before proposing to that to protect our people from the unthinkable threat of nuclear weapons and hypersonic missiles, the United States must also build a state-of-the-art next generation missile defense shield. We need it, he said, ostensibly referencing the living threats from Russia of nuclear escalation and this failing invasion of Ukraine. A word that I refuse to say, nuclear. We have to have it. We need a defense shield. We have the technology. Continuing to weigh in on the Biden administration's failings, Trump then turned to their botched withdrawal from the Afghanistan, which it was. We, we left billions, if not trillions of dollars of equipment to the enemy because Biden is such a fucking retard that he cannot see straight, doesn't know where he is, doesn't know who he is sometimes. It's like, and nobody sees what's wrong with this man at all. No, it's like, everything's fine. It's like the dog, it's like the meme of the dog inside the burning building saying, this is fine. Yeah, like as the economy burns to the ground and we're in, we enter, you know, we're in a recession essentially with record high inflation and highest interest rates ever. The disaster in Afghanistan was perhaps the most embarrassing moment in the history of our country where we lost lives, left Americans behind, left behind $85 billion worth of equipment of the greatest military equipment anywhere in the world. He also criticized the administration for allowing the Russian invasion of Ukraine to play out as it has, telling the crowd, and then Ukraine would have, which would have never happened if I were president. I believe this would be true. People when I say it's not, then it will be true. I, I believe this to be true. Yes, the man had faults. The man did some things that were terrible, like his huge spending bills and his bump stock ban that wasn't just a bump stock ban. But there were great things he did. As well, our enemies are speaking to us with scorn, laughter, and derision because of these two events, but there are many more. We have a president who falls asleep at global conferences, which is a factual statement, and we have video of it. There's no denying it because there's, it's on video. Enter the woke Hollywood elites who wasted no time in taking the social media to cry foul over Trump's 2024 presidential election. Y'all, we're not doing this again, right? 
yes, we're doing this again because idiots like you would not be profitable, would not make money if it wasn't for a great economy that we had under Trump. That's why your bitch ass has to go to conventions because you know you ain't got money. And if people have less money, that means they have less money to spend on an autograph or a photograph with your bitch ass. They, they need more, they, they'll have less money for their necessities and think twice about spending it on you. An ungrateful ass person who had the, op- who had the opportunity multiple times under the Trump administration to make money off of fans. But because Orange Man bad and because what mainstream tells you, you just go along with everything because people in Hollywood cannot think for themselves. Their lack of diversity of thought. In room temperature IQ. We had four years that it felt like a nightmare. And that was that, right? You mean... Greatest economy of my lifetime. Lowest on record employment for literally every race. And every and both two genders. But such a nightmare, right? Such a nightmare. Such a nightmare. Meanwhile, Hollywood was making way more money... Under a Trump administration over a Biden one. GG. GG, bud. I'm glad I didn't go to your line at any moment in time at any convention because you prove time and time again that you're so disconnected from reality that you can't see straight. You can't see the stupidity right in front of you from the current administration we currently have. Unfortunately, it's only been two, but yes, it does feel like four. Wrote uh, Chance Roberts on in turn heavily implying that the Biden administration is worse. It has been because it has been and there's no denying it. But of course Hollywood will continue to deny it because they do what they're told like a bunch of sheep. Like a bunch of sheep. Not what I was referring to. An unamused Woods replied. Good. No one cares what Hollywood elites about care like say about politics. No one gives a fuck what you have to say about politics. Entertain me, clown, and shut the fuck up. I don't care about your politics. Basically they for the most part they don't affect you. You clown. Retweeting Republican politician and former news anchor Carrie Lake's endorsement of Trump's campaign held marks President Trump announces his twenty four presidential campaign presidential run. He is a complete and total embarrassment. Yeah. Because again, you you're a dumbass. You're you're like Mark Hamill, you are clearly an irrelevant dumbass where the only role that anyone actually knows you for is the Joker and Luke Skywalker, which they killed Luke Skywalker, they made your character into an embarrassment. You admitted that you that they embarrassed your character, turned your character from a, a hopeful hero to a, a, a hermit, and yet you still sit here and you don't speak and you, you talk down about essentially a great economy. GG bud. You're, you're so dumb. You really have so much TDS in your head and you need help. In a follow-up tweet made several hours later, the Star Wars star further whined breaking news. 45 announced his future failed run for the presidency. Yeah, and then when he wins, what are you going to do? Are you going to move to Canada? You, you're going to move to Canada? Kind of like what George Lopez said when he when Trump won the first time. He said he was going to move to Canada. Where is he at? Still in the, still in the, still in the United States. Because he's a freaking hypocrite, just like you. Just like pretty much ninety nine percent of Hollywood. It's a bunch of hypocrites who don't who don't live in reality. The Batman actor Jeffrey Wright didn't pull any punches asserting this clown Trump actually leaves a nonsense duking out of his mouth. Uh because he has two eyes and he can see clearly what's going on. Unlike again, you're a clouded dumbass. Because all you do is listen to mainstream media, you probably watch CNN and MSNBC and you listen to every gobbledygook garbage that comes out of their mouth, right? And you just believe it as fact. Rather than doing your own research and looking it up for yourself, you just say, oh, okay, this is true. He's a he's a this or that, whatever. Trump is a damn depressant. No, he's not. Trump is a damn depressant. Meanwhile, his rallies are always full. Meanwhile, there's always people cheering for him. Maybe it's a depressant for you because you don't like the fact that he goes against... The, the swamp and the fucking establishment and he doesn't do what you he doesn't act the way you think a president should act I don't give a fuck what a president comes says out their mouth if they tell the truth most of the time he's been you know he tells he tells the truth with 
certain things. Sometimes he, he says things that don't make sense or might be a lie somewhere here or there, but for the most part, he's doing a, he did a great job as president. And because, again, the mainstream tells you what to think, you just go along with it. Sharing a fairly biased article by the Washington Post, which claims that Trump as president fomented an insurrection. No, he didn't. Beauty and the Beast actor Josh Gad, a guy who's been irrelevant forever. It's like, oh, what, you, what have you done, bro? That's notable. Frozen. Beauty and the Beast isn't it, bro. Shared praise by the byline screen. That's just how it's done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, daddy. You daddy government that's owned by Amazon. Thank you, Daddy Government Mainstream Media News article owned by Amazon for continuing to lead the way. Yes, let's listen to let's listen to big show corporations like Am- like Washington Post owned Amazon who hired a person named Taylor Lorenz who doxed someone because they have an they had an opinion in it. Like, yeah, good job, bud. Just 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 slide more into irrelevancy. While listening to the the Washington Post, like I said, who hired a person named Taylor Lorenz who docks libs of TikTok because they had an opinion they didn't like. Fuck you. You piece of shit. In a rather uncharacteristically neutral tweet, un- unfunny comedian Ian Michael Black opened, I really don't give a shit who's running for president right now. Let me just enjoy my life for a minute. Oh, you have plenty of time to enjoy your life because like I said already... Inflation doesn't really affect you. Gas prices don't really affect you. And people like you are probably so entitled. You probably you're probably be one of those people out there that are like, oh, I don't. Everybody just get electric vehicles because it's you know, it's so simple just to do that. Yeah, go fuck yourself. You have been living in comfort. You've been enjoying your life, pretty much the entire time you've been in America. You haven't had to deal with any oppression. You haven't. You've had the privilege. Of being a comedian in the greatest country in the world. Go to China. See if you can go be a comedian in China. Because I guarantee you won't get far. You'd probably be, you'd probably be deleted by, by now. Or self-deleted by now. You've been enjoying your life for, for a long time there, bud. There's no other way to put this. Donald Trump is a complete and utter fool. Declared notorious... Liberal director Rob Reiner. Again, who the fuck are you? I don't know who the fuck you are. I see your tweets all the time because, you know, Mr. Beast follows you for some reason. He wants to... A smart guy like Mr. Beast follows a retard like you. Yeah. Let, let's follow... Let, let, a, let a smart person follow a retard. Yeah. Not to mention a career criminal where... Still have yet to see anything come out. Still have yet to see him get charged with anything. What a... He is doing such a great... He's doing such a bad job of being a career criminal that he has no charges at all. What a career criminal. Define career criminal because clearly you don't know the definition. You're not very intelligent. You clearly have room temperature IQ like everybody else in Hollywood because you're so stupid. Time to indict and put the last name in his corrupt coffin. Says the guy who probably likes Joe Biden who has a corrupt son who is corrupt himself with actual corruption, with actual evidence to corruption. Yet somehow Trump's the corrupt one. Okay, buddy. Whatever you say. I'm willing to let things go. Reiner will return to the topic the next day to reiterate how he's looking forward to Donald Trump becoming a politically irrelevant indicted criminal, failing to realize that it is comments like this that successfully managed to keep the foreign president's relevancy intact. Does he not realize how many years that they've been trying to get this man? He said, oh, we got him this time. Oh, we got him this time. Oh, we got him this time. And he still haven't gotten anything yet? Because there hasn't been anything. Trump is the definition of a fake populist. You are the definition of a fake celebrity. You are the definition of fake climate climate change activist. With your little private jets when you fly to these, you know, places. You fly to these, like, activist events. You're a fake climate change activist. How about that? I'm sorry. Trump's better than you. Trump's more relevant than you. Trump will always be more relevant than you. And you'll go down as being the most bitch-made Hulk in in Hollywood history. Sorry to tell you, but you were. 
The cried She-Hulk actor Mark Ruffalo retweeting current President Joe Biden's declaration that Donald Trump failed America, where, again, the greatest economy in our lifetime, no new wars, four million Eastern peace deals, lowest unemployment in recorded history, lowest inflation, lowest gas prices. Where's the failure? I see failure in the current administration. It's very clear to me. But again, you live in fantasy land, in your fake reality, in your high tower over there in Hollywood. Fuck off. No one cares. Without presenting any evidence to back his cl next claim, of course he doesn't, because these people really never can. The irredeemably woke actor further whined, he has, nothing, he has done nothing for working class people or America except take the GOP down. He lowered my taxes, dickhead. He made my inflation lower. He made my gas prices lower. He made me make more money than I've ever made in my entire life. Oh, he didn't help the working class because you're so fucking retarded. Bitch, you are working class. You're a fucking paid actor, you f fucking bitch, bro. <laughs> you're a paid actor. Oh, no, wait. You're not the working class. Let me, let me, let me take that back. You're not the working class. The working class are the blue collar people that power make your electricity flow, make your internet flow, make your water flow, build your fucking mansions, build all your bullshit, build all your your built your movie sets and all this other shit. But somehow he didn't do anything for the working people. What have you done? What have you done for the working people? I haven't seen you do shit except cry on Twitter about a man who's better than you. Who's actually done something with his life besides being a big fat bitch all the time, crying on Twitter about literally nothing? Finding himself unable to pass the opportunity to try to offer the weakest dunks possible in the 45th president, Star Trek actor George Takai. Trump announcing about 2024, right when we all went through the midterms, is like it's like your awful neighbor putting up tacky holiday decorations the day after Halloween. Sorry, Christmas is just better than Halloween, and so is Thanksgiving. Well, sorry, Halloween is not a rele not relevant. Let us enjoy the quiet sound. No negative ads on national election headlines already. He concluded, "This is the same guy. This is the same guy that were put that was pushing people who didn't take a jab to go to quarantine camps. Meanwhile, his family grew up in quarantine camps. So you really have no position to be talking any kind of bullshit when you say things like that. When you say things like." Oh, because they didn't want to take this experimental dab. You should be put in a quarantine camp and not be able to live like a normal American with freedom. Fuck you. Go fuck yourself. You're a piece of shit. And that's why William Shatner will always shit on you. And I hope he continues to shit on you on Twitter. Because you are an irrelevant ass social justice warrior bitch is what you are. Fully aware that she would not face any consequences for her outrageous comparison. Humorless comedian Rosie O'Donnell took to Twitter tastelessly right. Tastelessly right. Good luck, you orange nazi. Followed by the hashtag by Trump hashtag. Again, you're a woke bitch. You got canceled by your own peeps from your own show. Right? Meanwhile, Trump is fighting against the things, the type of people that would cancel your bitch ass from your own show. Yet you want to sit here and cry about it. Once again, more relevant than you will always be more relevant than you. We'll always have more money than you. We'll always be more successful than you'll ever be. Are you allowed to say whatever you want? Are all these people allowed to say what they want? Sure. Are they all delusional people? Absolutely they are. Because they live in a fantasy land and they've had so much privilege and so much right and so much money coming out the ass from normal people like me. That they can't see straight. They don't remember what it's like to be a normal working class person who has to worry about food, gas, where, you know, feeding their children, schooling their children. You know, some of them living paycheck to paycheck. But these are the type of people that don't live in that reality anymore. So they don't even care. They don't really care what happens to our country. They like watch it crash and burn. And they would be unaffected because they could just leave at any time because they got the money to do so. But somehow it's orange man bad all the way through because he respects the normal working class and you don't. Sorry to tell you, no one gives a shit about what Hollywood elites have to say about everyday problems and everyday politics. Thank you all for checking out this video. Went on a quite a long rant. Video is going to be a little bit over 20 minutes. 
Uh, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, like, hit the like button. Subscribe for more content. Comment below what you guys think about all this. And as always, I will see you all on the next one. Peace.